It comes from a very, very intense and knowledgeable person who has been a real influence around the world in making sure that the role of women in world peace is well known. I have said to the negotiators, in negotiating for peace in the Middle East, just add women around the table. I have pleaded with the APAC and other organizations, get women at the table and we'll see a difference. I truly believe that. And I really do believe that the majority of the people on this planet want to see a culture of peace in the world. And it seems like such a big thing to accomplish that sometimes it can be discouraging because you're not sure that you see the results as you move along. But when you see someone with the staying power of swine, then you know it has to be worth it. I have heard her speak all over. She shared her staff with me as I'm trying to do programs, and she has shared her staff with me, of which I'm very grateful. Most people don't know we're really from the same hometown, Dallas, Texas. We didn't grow up in the same part of town. <laughs> Swati grew up in the part of town where she could be on the beach every day. And I grew up in the part of town where I've been kicking rocks to get out on the street. But we have this in common. And I'm so proud to call her my friend. She has been such an inspiration and such a role model. When I think of the work that I've done with the Bosnian women, I first went to Bosnia way back when the first war was first over with the delegation. And I was so impressed with the resilience of those women, but also with the attitude that they could not could not get along with these neighbors who had been a part of hurt in their lives. And so I've kept in touch with those Bosnian women and Bosnian students, and so pleased to see the progress that's been made. But it's been made also with the influence of swine. And I tell you, it gives you a very good example of how just maybe a little work at a time can ultimately influence large numbers one by one. And so I'm very delighted. I was just recently contacted by the State Department to help in the Bosnian delegation to the UN to see if I could encourage them not to vote at this particular time for the Palestinian state. I didn't know anybody really knew that I was working with Bosnian women, but I do uh, entertain a delegation and I've had some two-way uh, uh, video meetings, and it really is very delightful for me to be able to work with women around the world and just talking about peace and their leadership. Women around the world have said, come talk to us. I want to be a part of an elective office. Lots of young women from Bahrain to places all over Africa. And I'm walking in the footsteps of Swanee Hunt, who has been a major major figure in world peace, and we're grateful. And so I just want to say thank you to Swanee. Thank you so very much for being my friend, for being my home girl, and being my leaders in the world of women for peace. Thank you.